Hey friends and neighbors, can we talk? Can we talk for a minute here? All right, so something came up in lab and I think we gotta go over it just one more time. I want you to take a close look at these two jacks. All right, so we go right up close to here. So there they are, whoa. So those guys look really close to each other. They're both eight pin. They're both RJ45 terminated, but they are not the same thing. So let's start with this one. So, looks familiar, right? So this is a cable that happens to be terminated with RJ45s on both ends, and also happens to be terminated EIA568B on both ends. This makes this a straight through patch cable, more commonly referred to as, say, an ethernet cable because that's what we use it for, but it is a patch cable terminated with Cat5e cabling, RJ45s on the ends, and EIA568B is the pinouts. That is where the wires go. Okay. So we go back to this one. What's the difference here? Well, the difference here, the hint that we get is maybe the other end. So there's the other end. There we go. Here's the whole cable. Let me get this together for you here. The other end is terminated in something completely different. So there's the whole cable. For those of you networkers out there, you might recognize this as a Cisco console cable. We'll just call it a console cable for right now. There's the other end. What is that? Well, if we look at the pins, this guy here is a DB9. Nothing to do with our previous cable. So that's a DB9. And even if I do something clever, like hook it up to this guy here, which is a USB to serial adapter, okay? So USB to serial adapter. All right. So what's the point here? This is a console cable. Console connections are synonymous with command line interface connections, uh, COM port uh, connections and serial connections. So the standard that we use to communicate over this guy is something called EIA 232C, which is a serial communication standard. This one, of course, is our friend Ethernet. So here's the thing that folks are doing in lab. If we take a really close, now this is an older piece of gear, but who cares, right? If we take a really, that's where we want to go here, right there. We look at those ports on the front of them, and you can probably see that some of them are labeled fast ethernet, and one of them is labeled a console connection. So, yeah. These two right, whoa, these two right here, ethernet. There we go, that one right there is a console connection. Again, RJ45s. So you can see where the communication problem is. Ha ha ha. Or the confusion lies. It turns out that you can take this one and plug it into a console and this one and plug it into an ethernet port. That doesn't mean you did the right thing. So here's the deal. You have to connect, you have to think about what you're doing. You have to connect the correct ports to the correct port on the device. So. If I have a serial port on a, on a node or my management computer, right? I'm gonna connect with one of these guys or I'm gonna connect with one of these guys, right? And I'm gonna put, plug it into USB. But what does USB stand for? Well, it's a serial connection. So universal serial bus, serial connection. If I do this, it goes into a serial port, serial connection meaning that they're governed by a standard that has nothing to do with Ethernet. And the whole job of this is to manage the device. Now, let's talk about really quick management, right? When we connect from a COM port or serial port or to a console connection, which is also serial, using one of these guys, um, we're doing what's called management. And when we do it this way, it's out of band management, meaning that the flow path for this communication is outside of the network. The minute you do 
web management, Telnet, SSH, all of those are in-band management because they follow the same pathway as your Ethernet transmissions or your IP-based transmissions. So that's a management connection that will run over the Ethernet connection that we, that we were just looking at. This guy here is different. Now it turns out that the, that the management interface, you know, the command line interface that you would get when you SSH or when you Telnet looks exactly like the command line interface that you would use when you console in this thing or console via one of these. But the important thing to remember is that it's easy to confuse the two ports because they physically look the same. They're both terminated with RJ45. So whether you're talking about RJ45, male or female, it doesn't really matter, but you can understand where the confusion lies. Now, if you're going, all right, I'm connecting a COM port on a PC to a console port on a router or a switch, and you're running those wires yourselves, usually you're okay. Here's where the problem lies, I think. Sometimes when we're dealing with patch panels, right? We sometimes wire all of these connections, right? Sometimes we wire all of those connections to a patch panel and that's so that we don't have to find the jacks. And this is especially uh, true when the console connections aren't up front, whoa, aren't all up front, sometimes they're on the back side here and so they're hard to get to. So a lot of times we will run those to uh, a patch panel and so you just take the same the same sort of patch cable and you run it from in your, on your on your patch panels from a console connection to another console connection but you got to think about what you're doing you got to think about what they're labeling so without getting all long-winded here remember that even though sometimes the ports look the same they are not the same thing and the two standards are completely different so we got ethernet ports versus console ports and whether you're dealing with patch panel connections or connections that are right on the box themselves, think about what you're doing. They do not work together. They have nothing to do with each other. One of them is for management and one of them is for um, your regular Ethernet or data connections. Okay? All right. Well, hopefully that'll help clear up some of the issues and we won't see it in the lab anymore, friends and neighbors. All right. Well, that'll do it. Hey, uh, remember that this is networking. You can do this.